Hey guys, Amber here. I know it's been a while since I last did one of these, but to be fair, I didn't have a quality mic to use. Guess what? I got a new mic. Yay? I hope so. Anywho. Um, I haven't done one of these DA reviews for a while, and I figured I might as well. As you can see, I have the link here. Oh, I hope it's catching my cursor. I think it is. Anyway, this is the DA thread. There will be a link to it in the description down below so that if you want to go and post yourself, go ahead. Or if you want to just go through and see everything that people have posted. Not that there's much so far. Anyway, I usually leave these threads up for two weeks to a month. Depends because... DA does have a post or an inactivity limit before it gets locked. So, anyway, to start, we've got Butterscotch the Human. Sounds tasty. I absolutely love butterscotch, like the actual flavor or the syrup or whatever myself. It's one of the best flavors out there. It even trumps maple, and I'm Canadian, so that's saying something. <laughs> So, yeah, just yummy. Um, I honestly, I'm not going to read all that. They have a decent bit here. Uh, a Newgrounds and a Twitter that you can see linked over here, both of which being not safe for work, so be careful with that. Oh, geez, Adobe Flash with a mouse. Okay, it's a good thing I checked that because now I won't be as critical. Anyway, first called Spruce Lee the Dryad, Halloween costume 2020. I'm not going to read all that, but I'll leave this up so you can read it. Honestly, all the caps are kind of annoying, but it is kind of cute. All right, now, hmm. Honestly, I expected worse. And I actually do mean that sincerely. When I read, because, uh, like, I haven't gone and pre-looked at any of these. All I saw were the thumbnails that were posted in the thread. But... I read that you use Adobe Flash. First off, that's a huge, that's a red flag for me because I don't like Adobe. That's personal preference though. But a mouse. So I expect it a lot worse. However, I can see, for instance, over here, it's not quite so, let's zoom in, not quite so round when it might be worthwhile to be, but at the same time, I'm not sure because it looks like it's supposed to be covered with something akin to mud and bark. So it works. But even the leaf here, it's a little janky. And I completely understand. Using a mouse, it ain't the easiest to get your smooth curves. Using a pen, it ain't the easiest to get the smooth curves sometimes. So, no shade. N I'm not knocking you for that at all. I'm merely pointing it out. Um, one thing that you could possibly do if you're doing something like this again. Um, the antlers, tree branches. Uh, perhaps have them and some of them end more naturally, like more narrow, taper off. It might make a difference, might not. It just looks really, I don't want to say clunky because it doesn't really look clunky. Um, but that's the only word I can think of. It looks kind of boxy otherwise, I guess. I do like it though and that little blush is cute. She really does look shocked to be wearing that. Oh, and the breasts just look weird. Flat out. Um, 
a big part of it first off little high for something with that would have weight because the bigger the breasts the more weight that there is to them obviously so little high but also this gap right in here it gives the impression of them just sticking out from the body almost unnaturally I don't know they just look a little awkward they don't look like melon tits like some people do you know just orbs there as you can see like right here that slight curve there shows that there is some weight to them it's just the shape could use a little bit of work another one by them and overall looks to be about the same it does, I didn't look at the date. Hold on. Uh, close that out. October 6th. Oh, that's a real recent one. And September 19th. Okay, this one's older. And you can actually see that. But you seem to have curves done better. Like if you look in here, the bell, like the curve of the shoulders, it seems a little bit better. But overall, I do think this one's just better flat out. And she looks puzzled. But first, finally drew my angeloid in a maid outfit. Simple enough. Okay. I do think the bow right on the um, whatever the hell that's called is cute. The bows, rather. Fishy, fishy food. Thinking about lunch. Yep, I can totally see it. Hmm, should I have the fish? But if I do, what kind of fish? Fishy, fishy. I'm sorry. It is 4.39 in the morning, as you can probably see up in the top corner. I'm working on fumes. <laughs> so please, excuse if this video sounds stupid as balls anyway as it when was this one posted april 16th so yeah okay i just went backwards as i said before this one i think is the best but that might be because i'm slightly biased i'm not such a huge fan of fishy people and yet human shaped ones look better to me that's not to say that these are bad I actually do really like that shade of red they used for the skin, for example. But this one just seems to have more effort and just looks cleaner than the other two. That's all. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, maybe, well, there's one more. You said something about there being an animation. Ah, it's this one. Oh, I like the flash. I wasn't intending on going for four. I wanted to do three for everybody. But you, 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 you tempted me. You taunted me with the comment about the animation. So, that's a thing. Anyway, but yeah, this one's probably my favorite. Also, animations are hard. I've done a few myself. Close those out. And of course, there will be a link to all of, like, there will be links to everything in this video in the description down below. Um, next is Sincere Sneaky. Okay, here's their confirmation, like, confirmation, what the hell? Contact information. They have a Discord, a Toy House, a Fur Affinity, and then their to-do list over on Trello, which is cool. Toy House, though, I might have to come check you out. Also, you list Christian in your profile. I don't know. Do you really need to list religion in profiles? I've never understood why people do that. Not that it's an issue or anything. It's just literally, I don't get it. Anyway, gloom kit. Ooh. Okay, first off, your shading could use some cleaning up, but I really like this. What do you have? Spent a lot of time getting the lighting. Yeah. Yeah. Lighting can be hard. Anyway, lighting can be difficult, especially if you want to go with something that looks more intense-ish, more isolated, I guess. 
I don't know. Um, but it looks like you could work on blending your shadows out a little bit more or cleaning them up. Shadow slash lighting. If you're aiming for more of an anime cell shaded look. Beyond that though. Um, this rope cord that you used, well, that was used to put the mask up there. I actually really like how it was done. The shading on it looks really good. However, it looks a little loose. Um, if it was actually sitting on your head it, in such a way that it would not be falling as this has the implication of being. You would see your the hair being a little bump above and below on both sides to show that it's holding it in place kind of thing. Because hair has a lot of air in it, so you really have to put the pressure in order to flatten it. And if you don't do that, then you risk whatever it is that's up there falling. So, if you want a... Um, a... a sketch example of that let me know I can actually you know what hold on can I drag this into no probably not that's uh kitsune boy I thought that was a girl <laughs> oh my oops it just looks very feminine to me anyway um Let's see. Yes, I have clip open up there, but I've got a commission on there. Like, if you don't, like, up here. Yes, I have clip studio paint up there, but... You know what? Hold on. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, here. I'll give you an example of what I mean. Just copy that, paste it, and zoom all the way the hell in. I'll just do it in, like, bright purple. Um, what I mean is if you do something like that to show... You see what I mean? And even then, you'd want to bring that into probably about here instead of all the way the hell out there. Just to show that there is some, you know, take it down to roughly where the shape of the head is, not the body of the hair. If that makes any sense. I'm sorry, I kind of got hung up on that one. Anyway, moving on. Next by them. Yeah, see, that's not somebody I'd want to meet in an alleyway, if only just because the eyes freaked me out. I don't know if that's how the eyes should be for the creature she obviously is. But, um... They kind of freak me out and I don't like it. Overall, I like the image. But, those eyes. Although, I will say this much. Um, yes, you have the highlights. But, for like way back here, instead of having just a flat shadow color, you could put a little bit more depth to add a little bit more contrast. Or rather, you could put something a bit darker to add more depth and add more contrast. I'm sorry, it's 4.45 in the morning. My words are probably going to start getting stupid. And just like down here, just to add a little in here too, a little bit more depth. That's all. Oh, is this by the same person? Okay, apparently it is. I fucking love this one. One, she, I love the expression. Two, nicely done on the hair. Three, this looks so much cleaner than your other stuff. Yeah, so, okay, apparently, this is the style of shading you really should stick with. You nailed this one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't... I don't know if it's, um, referenced or copied or anything, but I do really like this one. So yes, definitely stick with this kind of shading. It looks a lot better. And lastly is Erica Stenvik. Uh, um, 
art student. I'm not going to read all of that. But let's see. Oh. First off, ew, stash needs dark mode. <laughs> Does it have? I doubt it. Anyway, secondly, I'm going to guess oils on canvas. I can see the canvas texture. And I can see some of the imperfections that you would find with oils. Like, for instance, how this is not very even. You got the little bit down there. So I'm guessing oils on canvas. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I do. I think this is oils on canvas. And I don't like it. Still life is something that not everybody likes seeing or doing. I know I certainly don't like doing it. But you got to learn the rules before you break them. And you're making me hungry for something with garlic. God damn it. <laughs> it's fucking going on 5 a.m. And now I'm hungry. Anyway, I actually really like this. I'm assuming you sat there and painted it with the actual food in front of you. So, nicely done though. At first glance, if someone's not paying attention, they could probably easily mistake that as a photo. I know I did when I saw the thumbnail in the post. I do. I really like this. Okay, this almost... At first glance, it is very easy to mistake that as not being a photo. The colors are so well done. Although I'm not surprised. Art student, so you obviously have had some education for it. Since your profile said, what, two years, I think it was? Also, I'm going to take a shot in the dark and guess watercolor. Looks like maybe a uh, cold press paper. No, maybe hot press. Anyway, watercolor with, uh, instead of being like watered down acrylics or something. Although it could be gouache. That one I have no idea. But whatever, I'm sticking with watercolor. And damn, nicely done. Again, I'm going to take a guess and say that you had the branch in front of you when you were doing this. I don't think you would have been able to get the color so perfect otherwise. Anyway, and the last one. Right off the hop looks like a dude. <laughs> The name of which makes me think it's supposed to be female. And work in progress. Did I? I did. Oh, it's the same image. It's just a... Okay. Um. Sorry. Yeah, I'm looking at it on the dark background. I'm sorry. I have a preference for the dark, especially at this hour. Anyway. That face is intense. I'm going to have to keep an eye on you to see what the hell happens with this one. As in, I want to see it finished. Then again, don't be too surprised. I apparently really like your work if the previous two paintings were anything to go by. That aside though. I do actually really like how you're putting in the definition for the face. Makes it look like A, this witch is not the most attractive out there. I mean, I like a sexy witch as much as the next person, but it's nice to see a non-sexy witch every so often. And looks like blind? At least that's what I get from it. Anyway, I really don't have much to say about this one. I just, I really like your work and I, I want to see this one finished. So I think I've probably prattled on long enough. How long is this video? Has this been recording? Anyway, uh, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Anyway, as I said before, I will have a link to this thread in the comment, comments in the description below. I will also have a link to the all of the images and users that were in this um, episode in the description below so 
Thank you very much for stopping by to watch. And thank you to you three that I featured in this one. I actually like all of your work. Just some of it I had more comments on. For example, uh, for butterscotch, mostly work on rounding out your stuff. That's probably the biggest thing. For sneaky, stick with that last one. Oh my word, that one was my favorite, easily. And Erica, I really don't have overall comments for you. I just, other than keep going, I really like your work so far. So, yeah. Alright, I'm going to stop prattling on, get some food, and go to bed. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Thank you for letting me feature your work. If you want to throw your work into the pot for this, just uh, leave a comment on the DA thread I'm going to link below and I'll get to you. I'm not sure how often these videos will be done. Maybe once a month like before, but I might make it twice a month because I do actually rather like doing these and they're nice and easy. So yeah, anyway, thanks for stopping by. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you happen to have any. Um... Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll catch you on the flip side. This is Amber out.